from Freaks and Geeks. So that, let's uh, shift now that, that we're kind of reminiscing on, on things of the past. You want yeah, to of the past. I've been, your, I've, uh, my new obsession what's that? is uh, weird history. Now, there it is. Okay. I was just, oh, nice. Go ahead. I was just on um, time on YouTube and I, I stumbled across this thing called Time. It's a, uh, station or a YouTube channel, uh, Timeline, and I Timeline, think okay. they started in 1980. They have other stuff like way back, like the America's Founding Fathers, not whole thing, and just little one-offs. But okay. specifically, the Time Off 1980 series begins. There it is, uh, start of the decade, and they just do the highlights of what happened in that year. Oh, of okay. course, because that is our birth year. I'm like. I get Perfect. to see what I came into, right? Because right. I have my, I remember, well, you know, I don't remember 1980s, but I remember the 80s and the, the 80s. feel and what was going on for me. Right. But this gave me a broader scope of what was happening in the world. And so watching this and just kind of in, in contrast with what I remember from the 80s, it's just kind of like, it's a bit of a, like a mind fuck. Cause you're like, huh? <laughs> I had no idea all that stuff was going on. And then you, well, when I see what's happening today, I'm like, wow. Like, it's just, how did we go from there to here? It's so crazy. But yeah, just, okay. Just do an intro. Can I play the beginning of this? And let me, yeah. let me just add, cause there's a quote that I saw recently and it's, it's so fitting. Cause the beginning, like the eighties is the end really of the seventies. You're going to get a lot of influence from, the leftover, the turmoil, like the whatever you want to call it, the carryover from the 70s. That's right. But a really cool quote recently was, new beginnings are sometimes disguised as painful endings. Ooh. So the 80s is like the pain of the 70s. The pain of the... <laughs> oh. Maybe, I, you know. Ooh, I could see that. I could see that because there's a lot. There's a lot that happened. I gotta say. All right. Gotta say. Oh, oh damn it! Helps make your writing. We got uh, Big Dad in here. I just tried to refresh it, but we got, uh, of course, an ad running. So let me just fill the time. Yeah, the seventies. I'm sure there was a lot of carryover dynasties and sports styles, hairstyles. Yes. Style. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Things are still evolving. People, governments, That's countries, it. personal style. It was That's interesting it. to okay. see. Yeah, for sure. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. It was a totally rad decade that was filled with neon, yuppies, and a whole lot of Aquanet. Welcome to Fantasy Island. We're going to talk about the news, culture, sports, and entertainment, and all that was weird in the 80s. This is Timeline. It feels like I'm watching some kind of 80s movie when I watch it. Yeah. I, just, I love it. The it's neon. Just, it's yeah. cool. With the year 1980. But before we get moving, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History channel and let us know in the comments below your favorite 80s memory. Okay, then. Are you ready to relive 1980? Five, six, seven, eight, Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Haas and Pfeffer Incorporated. We're going to do it now. I'll see you. Disco. Coming out of the disco-filled 70s, the U.S. economy was set. Americans were being hostage in Iran, and the minimum wage was $3.10. This new campaign started off with some US. promise. Like, Gary Larson's the far side made its debut the day before on New Year's Eve. The year ahead for 1980 would feature many new additions and changes to the culture. The world was about to see its first hot pocket, the rise of the Rubik's Cube, and the dawn of a new political era. We shall seek new friendships, but we shall not like, do so by breaking our word. Or Ronald Reagan. Yeah, I know. Like, that's incredible. This incredible to see him. The decade wouldn't start off so great for Beatle Paul McCartney when he was arrested January 16th in Japan for marijuana possession. What do you think about uh, marijuana? It was a big mistake. Like, that's McCartney. just weed. So weird. In yeah, Japan, like who cares? <laughs> the year's what attitude change, right? Like, like you got, like, you got what? I'm like LSD, right? No, <laughs> like Paul McCartney got busted for yeah. weed possession. Why are you? Why are you in Japan? A beetle, yeah. It's, who cares? Like, someone heated him like, there. Yeah. Like, 
Oh, in a Tokyo my jail God. for nine whole days. And it nine was days. January 25th when Paul was finally released and then okay. quickly deported. I'd like to say sorry about the mistake there. And uh... you got to Okay. Oh, so you, you, we got to go into February just to see if anything interesting happened on. Sorry. On your birthday. Oh, does nothing it happened on mine. Does it go like, like how far? Oh, because it goes month by month. Yeah. Okay, we're close anyway for both. Yeah, of them. we're close. Let's just okay. Let's go to that. Fast forward a bit and just oh, see. Let's just... Album, the wall. Okay, so okay, go a bit. Go on to sell over. Go further and see what's going on. Nineteen eighty did ignite what would eventually become a oh, decade oh, okay. long. Okay. Too far. Too far. And a linebacker blitzing Bradshaw. Well, maybe nothing. Maybe, oh, there was maybe, nothing. Yeah, because that's. Uh, Super Bowl is basically end of January at that time. Yeah, okay. Now it's on our birthdays, but beginning of February. Wow. Okay, so the Steelers, uh, Olympic hockey. I feel, but here's the, I feel like I should always pick the Steelers now. Now that I know, I'm like, okay, <laughs> so you guys want to see the Super Bowl. They should yeah. just be my default. They should be my <laughs> default team. Yeah, it's not a, that's not a good decision. <laughs> 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 you like no. It's been a long time. Uh, do do we keep going here, or what do you want to do? It's a cool series. Um, it is. It's actually a really interesting series. Uh, I I encourage you to watch and see what you know you were born into. Um, okay. But no, I just I wanted to just yeah, I wanted to tell everybody about this series and get people looking who were born in nineteen eighty or even before or after. It's just a really well put together thing to see, like, oh, our world has always been messed up, and yeah, this is just a, a shortened version, a uh, summary of those events in the last how many years? Forty years, insane. So, how much of it did you watch? I'm up to 1984, so each of them are like 20 minutes long, okay. and they do one every few weeks, but they have like little ones, so they're like. They'll just geek out on Atari. It's like, oh yeah, I have an Atari. I watch. They play the clip on like the downfall of Atari. It's like, oh my god, oh, yeah. I had no idea, right? You know, like, what happens to some of these brands that uh, iconic brands that I just disappeared. Loved as a kid, yeah, disappeared. I'm like, oh, 